What sort of, what sort of odd glorious things are hiding behind this wall? Out of the way! Oh god. <laughs> oh! Oh, a safe! Hello, everybody, Grace Two Please. We're back with the only simulative experience where everyone has a bunker sitting underneath their house. It's house flippers. So, you guys were saying, keep Uncle's bunker and sell the other bunker. I think that at this point, Uncle's bunker has probably captured the hearts of all house flipper fanatics. I kind of like it myself. This layout here, I like how big and open it is. There's a lot of space over here, too. It's pretty good all around. I think the thing I like most is that it's almost like you're dropping down into the friggin' bat cave over here. You're right in the middle of your main bedroom area. You got your guns and your masks and everything at the ready. We still have to do some work over here, but we can still sell the other bunker. Now, recently, there was an update to House Flipper. Apparently, it was National Children's Day. I know this because it said it on the update. There's new items in the game, and also there's some new stuff for us to do over in the worky orders. Although, there's a bunch of work orders they haven't done yet. Over to them because we've been selling houses for a while and someone had said that there is a particular house with a hidden secret we'll have to check that out last real quick though you're gonna notice we have something here that was just added to the game i think it's like in bolder text than everything else it says kindergarten greetings after a few years of working as a teacher at a primary school, I collected enough money to buy a building, which I want to change into a lovely kindergarten. It used to be an office before there is a lot to change. Oh, so there's a lot to change. There's a huge mess there now. I guess the previous owners didn't like to clean that much. Please, get rid off all of the old and broken items. Fix the damaged devices and equips the toilet appropriately. Rooms where children will spend their time should be as colorful as possible. They like it when everything around them shimmers with colors. <laughs> We're treating the children like animals. It's like they love it when there's enough water to drink. Use at least three different colors in each. Wow. All right. That's, that's actually legit pretty colorful. And please put loads of toys everywhere. After all, playing is what children mostly do in kindergarten. <laughs> like puppies. Also, don't forget about a locker room for the kids. Some hangers and shelves should be enough. I'm sure you could make a praise which will bring big smiles on the kids' faces. Best wishes, Ariel Loan? I'm guessing that's the name. Now, also, we have some bunker ones over here. I kind of want to check a few of these out. Let's go ahead and bunker real quick. Which one over here? Inhabitable bunker or bunker? Uh, what's the difference over here? Inhabitable bunker. Last week, my dear sweet wife decided that her mom will live with us. So I determined that a perfect place for our lovely mother will be a cold metal construction. <laughs> deep underground! <laughs> to keep things short, I want to place her in the bunker. It's all for the sake of safety, of course. For mom to move in, minimal facilities are needed there. A bed, a bathroom, and a kitchen. And when I write minimal, <laughs> really minimal don't overdo it with comfort because as I think mom won't honor us with her presence very long it would be nice if you added some apocalypse survival items because it would make it easier to convince my wife that it's for safety reasons side son of Lowe's waiting for his bubbly bond moving all right we'll do the kindergarten thing we have to do this real quick oh my god so basically I don't need to take a bath says the gas mask guy so basically, we're creating this so he could kill his mom. Re I mean, that's really what it is. Oh, there's actually like a privacy hedge over here. We, I don't, you don't think I've ever seen that before. Although we may see a lot of things that we've never seen before with the kindergarten because that's going to be, yeah, you can't even get around the backyard. That's quite interesting because that's going to be a totally new job. For, as far as I know, it's a totally new job. Over here into the garage. Oh, the garage is quite nice this is lovely actually got a car over here uh up found the uh, bunker before we go to the bunker i just kind of want to see what the rest of the house looks like oh it's lovely look at that i wonder who on the house flippers team like the guys who made the the video I, oh there's like little, look at this there's like little what are these called it's like little toilet koozies <laughs> i don't remember what they're called actually the tile work in here is really neat too i like the um i like how the tile work in the corners is different i'm gonna have to remember this for my own usage but like this was never here before these little little toilet koozie things that's pretty neat those are there now all right man this place i'm gonna tell you man they they do it up 
But yeah, I wonder who on the team does all the, uh, all the work for the decorative stuff. Anyway, underground we go. There's things to friggin' do. Down here, where no doubt a ton of cockroaches and sat- Well, I was right. <laughs> I, I kind of just guessed on the cockroaches, but sure enough, they're right over there. All right. Now, with hands of great expediency, let me go ahead and pick up all of the random crap on the floor. I have no fear of cockroaches as my simulative self. So I'll just walk right across them like it's no big deal. I'm gonna tell you, I don't really fear cockroaches, but I'm not one of those guys that would be able to just like, like walk across this many and not at least feel a shiver down my spine. Alrighty, way in the back here, we happen to, uh, we happen to find the exit to this place. I assume this goes up into the, uh, up into the backyard that's all fenced in. Yep, sure does. Huh, this is interesting. It's like, it's half of the backyard that's... Oh, no, it's not. That's the front yard over there. And then over here on this side, is this just like an extra bit of shrubbery? Just to... Yeah, it's just some extra shrubbery just to look good. All right, well, whatever. All right, mom-in-law. What do we got to do for you over here? Destroy the cockroach nest. Okay, we did that. Clean the dirt. So there's still like... There's still a bit more dirt in here that we have to deal with. Now, I've completed so many tasks in this game... You're gonna notice that I only have to do like, uh, 60%, whereas normally you have to do like 70%. That's because I bought the, the bonuses, so I don't have to do that much work, because I'm friggin' lazy. Over here, I took the bathroom. Let's make it look freaking legit. Uh, let's see, do we still have the same types of toilets? We do. We'll give mom a classic toilet over here, I'm sure she'll enjoy that. After all, she should be happy that she has a place to lay her head at night, considering the son-in-law she has. All right, now what else do we need in here? A nice shower, and then a sink of sorts. Mom, you're not gonna get the countertop, you're gonna get the regular- Oh, we have to unplug this first. You're gonna get the regular craptastical sink, sorry to- Sorry to tell you, but, uh, again, I guess, you know, you- you're lucky that you're not getting suffocated in your sleep, it sounds like. I saw on the house flippers message boards that someone was sad because of how many steps there are to put in the shower. Clearly, they don't know the truth about life. That putting in a shower is like building a freaking rocket from scratch. If you've, if you've never installed an actual shower, it's the most horrifying thing in the entire universe. I would never do it on purpose a second time. I would only ever hire someone to do the shower. It's worth every dollar just to get someone else to slowly whittle away their life so you don't have to. All right, I wanted to put some tiles on the walls, but I actually can't. I don't have the tools to do it. There's nothing I can do about that. So I'll just have to cry myself to sleep while pretending that I would have been able to do it and make this place a little bit, looking a little bit better, you know what I mean? I kind of wonder what this guy's plan is for killing his mother-in-law. I mean, I, I, you know, he probably shouldn't, like, do anything too obvious. Because after that email, I'm a pretty good witness. I've got some pretty good testimony should it ever go to court. Now, like, I guess if he, like, pranked her and scared her to death, that might work. You know what I mean? Like, how we, we were talking about pranks before, like, how my wife hates cockroaches and stuff like that. You could probably make her have a heart attack or something. That would probably work pretty good. Actually, speaking of pranks, I think it's time for me to describe a prank that happened once in my life. With story time with Gray, where I tell you about things that go on in my young adult and childhood because we did everything stupid when I was a young man, and you shouldn't have to, but you probably will anyway, because it's quite frankly more fun than doing things the old-fashioned plain Jane way. In one of the offices I used to work at, one lady bought a brand new car. It was like one of the smaller cars. It was like a Yaris or something like that, but it was brand new, and she was very, very proud of it. And she was telling us all about it and how wonderful it was, and she had made like a joke. She was like, you know, oh, because I bought this car, I'll bet someone's gonna smash into it, or, you know, someone's gonna wreck it or something like that. We all kind of, like, laughed and in synchronization together at what, you know, what a, what a, a, a melancholic style of thought that was. But then a few of us guys had an idea. So a Toyota Yaris isn't really a big car. Actually, it's a really small car, if you guys don't know. You can probably just look it up on Google. It's also front-wheel drive. So what we did was we got about four of us guys together, and we went over to her vehicle, 
and we began bouncing the front of the vehicle. You get two guys underneath the uh, the front, and you start bouncing the car until it kind of like lifts off the ground because it's bouncing on the front wheels. And every time the front wheels lift off the ground, you can actually roll it. And you, and the, because the rear the rear wheels kind of free roll. So we rolled her car out of her parking space and we actually rolled it across the entire road into the next parking area in a, uh, there was like a, another, what do I call it? Uh, not a strip mall, but like an office space across the street. We actually got it across the street and parked it in the parking lot over there. So we were gonna go out to lunch and we asked her to come with us and she's like, oh yeah, yeah, look, look, you know, some of you guys can come in my new car. And we're like, oh, that's awesome. So we all went outside together and that is when it happened. She was like, oh my God. We're like, what was wrong? She's like, my new car is gone. We're like, what are you talking about? You, did, did you park it here? You sure you didn't park it on the other side of the parking lot? She walked on everywhere. On the one side of the parking lot, the other side of the parking lot. She had no freaking clue where that car was. She was, a, and you know, she was one of those people that could take fate really well. So she wasn't like crying about it. She was like, I knew it. I knew if I bought this car, someone would steal it. And we're like, who's going to steal a Toyota Yaris? What are you kidding? And so right when she started to call the police, we let her know what had happened. And uh, I'm pretty sure I was the first person to get hit. But that was the first and only time I had ever made anyone, well, with the help of three other guys, ever made anyone believe that their car was stolen. Have you ever pranked someone that bad before? We talked about pranks before and kind of like the stuff that we had done. That's probably the closest one to someone believing that a crime had been committed to them that I was ever a part of. It was all good fun, you know? We didn't like destroy the car, like break the transmission or anything like that, or like cut any kind of brake lines. Oh, also, while we're cleaning this up, I asked you guys what was the best tool, or what is the one tool that you would bring into the zombie apocalypse if you had only one thing to bring, and like the number one thumbs up answer was a gun with one bullet so that they could blow their brains out before the zombies got to them. <laughs> you morbid people! Another person said that they've actually broken a crowbar, and I actually got sent a picture from someone of a broken crowbar. If you have broke a crowbar, you need to let me know how the hell it happened, because out in my garage, I've had the same crowbar for like 26 years. And I'm pretty sure it's not gonna break anytime soon. Is there a new generator? Am I missing this? There's a power generator, there's a generator, and then there's the turbine generator. Was there always three generators? I feel like there's like an extra generator or something. All right, let's go ahead and sh we gotta shove this thing up in here real smooth like, there we go. Uh, kitchen cabinet with sink. Oh, we're actually gonna get her a kitchen. Okay, where's a good place for the kitchen? Uh, there's really not a good place for the kitchen. I would like to get rid of one of these racks. If I could get rid of like some or all these racks, I could probably have a decent place for a kitchen. Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna put it right over here. This is what she's freaking getting. She's getting the gray one too. She's getting the freaking gray special. Kitchen cabinet with double doors. Hmm, okay. Kitchen cabinet with double doors. All right, right over here. Make sure to select all gray all day. You got the uh, European version of gray over here as well. You, re you gotta remember, I'm the American version of gray with the AY. Cabinet with hanging shelves. Uh, where the hell is that? Oh, there we go. Ca oh, I can make it all gray. Oh, this is gonna be like the worst. Oh, what the, what in the, oh, it goes on the wall. I had no idea. Mother of God. Okay, bunk bed. Oh, I guess this is gonna be the everything room. Like, she's not actually even gonna have a designated sleeping area. She's just gonna be here. Well, sucks for you, lady. Just thought I'd shove her right in the corner over here. There we go. That looks perfect. Induction cooktop. All right. I'm kind of curious why they had us put two chairs down here, because I have a feeling that she's always gonna be alone, so it really doesn't matter. This is like the worst designed room I think I've ever built in House Flipper. And I don't, I'm not the best interior decorator at all. But this looks freaking atrocious. But this is what the guy wanted, so this is what she's gonna be living in. It looks like a prison cell. Old grandma is straight up gonna be in a prison cell. All right, I guess we're set to go. Eight grand for that. Whatever. 
We got 99% because there was like some speck of dirt laying around. I have no idea where the hell it was. I was like wandering all over the place. I could not find that speck of dirt. I'm not going to worry about it. An extra... What was that sound? Did you hear that? There was like a little cheering sound when we got home. I don't know what that was. It was like... Da -da! Is that just from us completing the the job? I feel like I've completed a ton of jobs before. I never heard that before. Oh, that's one of the new items, by the way. It's a little whiteboard. I really hope that eventually we can, like, draw on this. I really want to be able to draw on that whiteboard over there. That would be awesome. Over to the mailing area. Now, there's one more bunker left, but again, we've got to check out this kindergarten. I need to know what in the hell this is. Ariel, show me what you've got. Usually, this is a pretty good uh, idea of what we're dealing with. Like, it kind of gives you the little cutscene kind of shows you exactly what we're going to be expecting over here. Four bathrooms will be perfect? Who are you that you need four bathrooms? It's like one guy. All right, kindergarten. Here we go. Oh my God. Look at the friggin' tasks. I will say the, uh, the kindergarten has an interesting color about it on the outside. It's like a lime green, like a brilliant lime green. Again, the one house that we have to deal with is the loudest house on the entire street. Look at everyone else's house. Everyone else has a plain, normal, average house. Oh, there's a car on the side of the road. I don't, I didn't ever remember there being cars out there, but I guess I never really looked specifically. It must be garbage day too. Everyone's garbage is outside. But then you see this, like white house, brick house, white house, white house, blue house. Sorry, that's a little different, like brick house. And then this lime green freaking house over here. Let us go inside and see all of the beer cans and fecal material that has been left behind by the previous tenant. That's fantastic. Hopefully this is worth stacks of money. Right now the income is zero. That's a little odd. Oh, it's a security system. Don't need that. Oh, I can't get rid of it. Can you hear them? Can you hear the sound of sadness? I can hear it. It's in one of these rooms. Oh no. Oh, it's getting louder. Oh, oh, it's leaking. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, hold on. Let me get rid of all this freaking tang laying around or whatever this is over here. Clean all that up. There's a little bit of goo over there. Oh, it's like a thing of uh, pencils and whatnot. Oh, it's a picture too. Oh, it's a kitten head picture. Someone had mentioned that they loved this game all the more when they found the picture of the kitten head because that means that they could put it everywhere in every room. Hundreds of pictures of kittens. The kittens for them must be like the bunny with the knife for me. The bunny with the knife was my favorite for a long, long time. Oh, speaking of which, check this out. Over to the other area. We've got, look, that. there's our classic bunny. Now, you remember, he was the first one. Look at this. We got donkeys now. Eh? We got a box with a lid. I feel it's now. I really don't know. Shaped foam for children cube? Sure. Uh, oh, we got a bunny. A different bunny, though. This is like a fancier bunny with pink ears. We got a teddy bear and a cow box. All right. Uh, and there's the whiteboard. So there's a bunch of new, like, children's style of items, which makes sense, I guess, for the National Children's Day or whatever. I like how the first time you clean the water, like, it's done. I think if you leave it long enough, it'll come back. All right, so that device is mounted. What else do we need? There's something hidden back here. I can, can you tell? It's like right behind this friggin' thing. All right, let me go ahead and jump my way over here. Grab this chair, just kind of throw it up in there. These right over here. Those books will probably all fall to the ground, but that's what you gotta do. Cause see this, not safe. Young children, should they want to take long metal implements and shove them into the wall, not only would they die from getting electrocuted, but they may also get tetanus from the horrible amounts of dirt and rust and everything. So let's go ahead and make sure that they just get killed from the electrical current, if anything. Here we have it. That's going to be much better. Clean the window. Remove the standard. Oh, we got to remove all these desks. Okay. Well, sorry. All the desks are going, I guess. It kind of looked legit, though. So now it looks a lot less like a teacher room and more like there's absolutely nothing here. Uh, remove all the office chairs. Okay, I could do that as well. Uh... There's nothing left in here almost. Uh, remove. Oh, place the whiteboard. Oh, this is going to be the classroom. Is it? Let's turn on some lights in here for old Gray. This way we can operate with a little bit, uh, a little bit of light on the subject. Got to clean these windows as well. They're friggin' filthy. Go like this over here. There we go. Good. Good? No? There we go. Okay. All right. We need some children's table ma'am in here. We need at least two of them. This is all you get. 
That's how big the whiteboard is. They're gonna have to learn on that. I'm gonna put one right over there, and I'm gonna put another one like right over here. We need more whiteboards than this. I want like a whole wall of them to make it look like they're actually gonna learn something. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Now they're at least like legitimately, you know, it looks a little bit more like a, uh, like a chalkboard. Like there's more stuff here, which is kind of, these kids are all nearsighted, all right? That's why it's so close. All right, now we need a bunch of these chairs over here. You actually need eight chairs. So each one of these is gonna have four. So right like that there. Oh yeah, there we go. That's that's freaking perfect. And now we're gonna have them going this way as well. None of the kids are gonna be going out that door. And it, well, actually, I guess they could. This could be like, uh, it's like recess. You know what I mean? You know? Where you go do PE or whatever it is. I don't think they call it PE anymore. I don't know what the hell they, I, I'm guessing they just call it recess or something like that. Maybe playtime? I don't know, when you're in kindergarten? Is it called playtime? I really don't know. Place two times mountable narrow curtain. I don't think I've ever assembled this before, come to think of it. We've done blinds, but we've never, have we ever done curtains? I can't remember, well, that went on pretty easy. We're not playing thief simulator? <laughs> really? All right. I. I just wanted to move this crap. I guess I'll have to just grab it with my hands and move it. Oh, that's right, we could put stuff on the tables now. I totally forgot about this. Cause before we we had a, we had the worst time ever trying to put this stuff on tables, but now we can legitimately can. Let me put this kitten head picture. I want the kitten facing us. There we go, oh, it's so adorable. Now that everything's set up over here, we should be able to put, there we are, the extra. Oh, what in the, is it, you see that? Is it on the other side of the wall? What's going on over there? I can't. I can't get to it. Look at that right there. That's weird. It still counts it. Like, it still shows that everything's fine. But, eh, whatever. Um, okay, let's see here. We got carpet green flowers. Got it. All right, there we go. It looks pretty legit. Double chest of drawers mal. Okay, double chest of drawers, whatever that is. Double chest, this one. And what's a good color over here? Ah, uh, good old, eh, the gray kind of looks like garbage. How about this? And it's all right. I'm going with beach. It'll be fine. All right, now how many of these do we have? Just one double chest. Oh, you know what? I gotta move this stuff. Can I put this on a seat or something? Or can this fit over here on these crappy little tables? Yeah, it still can fit. I still have some space on these tables over here. Little thing of uh, pencils like so. All right, now we should be able to put this over here in the corner. Can I get it against the wall? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it fits against the wall. It doesn't look great, but it'll work. There we go. I managed to shove the drawers over here. As a matter of fact, maybe, we'll, yeah, there we go. We can put on this little lamp over here. Put our stack of paperwork over here as well. Place object, ball. All right. We need four of these boxes with flaps. Kids love boxes with flaps. Why? I don't know. Can you, can you put them on top? Oh, you can, you can stack them. That's what I wanted to do. All right, sweet. Uh, let's do details green on this one and this one will do blue. There we go. Now we've got all the colors of the rainbow. All right, what else? Place some donkeys down. Put the donkeys right over here so that they're looking at the children all eerily. A bunny, okay. Oh, it wants our old bunny friend, does it? Hold on, we need something extra for this bunny. There we go. All the children should enjoy that. Paint it with the colors spring grass and laughing strawberry and royal blue. Did they re did they rename some of the paint? I don't remember spring grass or I was laughing strawberry rather. I don't remember that one. All right, what do you think of my janky painting job? Looks pretty legit. Actually, this entire room doesn't look too bad. I'm pretty surprised at how well it came out, to be quite honest with you. All right, we need brand new floor tile. There you go. That was quick and in a hurry. Paint with the colors bright peach and velvety peach. So two-tone peach up in here, sure. I feel like we're building like a special school over here. Like it's like Professor X's friggin' preschool for gifted children. Like every child that goes here has some sort of latent mutant powers or something like that. That's what all the the knife bearing bunnies are for. They're like little they're like little sentinels, you know? But you can't use a full sentinel on like a little kid a little kindergarten child. So we have to use bunny sized ones. All right, this room's friggin' clear. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks glorious. Oh no. I think we may have found the hell room. Yep. There it is. 
Cockroaches all over the place. Freaking pigs die in here. Hold on. Let me grab the uh, squeegeenator 10 billion over here. Someone said if they had to have one item, they would have the squeegee fire 5,000. That's actually a pretty good thing. You're not wrong. After all that this squeegee thing has done, killing zombies is probably just another walk in the park for it. You ready to see what it's like to put tiles on while utilizing methamphetamine or whatever? Look at how quickly I actually put points into uh, tiling. So I've got it at plus 100%. It is insane. Look at it go. That moment when you realize you had put down the wrong wall tiles. Ugh. They were gray, man. I thought it was going to be that gray, but it totally wasn't. It was this gray over here. I might do that other room later. There's just so much I got to do over there. I got to clean. Oh, my God. Who, who half-assed these freaking radiators? And all the water is pouring on out of here. I got to deal with all this mold and mildew and stuff like that. Luckily, the squeegeenator removes mold, mildew, radiation, poverty, infertility, sadness. It pretty much fixes everything. I don't think we've ever mounted an air conditioner that I can think of. Time to see how many thousands of steps this is. Let's give it a shot over here. Uh-huh, a couple hundred of those. Put this in over here. Oh, mother of God. Oh, how many wires? Don't tell me it's all eight. Don't tell me we're gonna have to do all eight. Now I gotta freaking connect all this crap. Wow, a lot more of this. Than, this is worse than the, uh... Oh, oh, actually, I'm not gonna say it's worse than the, um, than the shower. But it was still pretty bad. I hear something else going on in here. Oh, it's more roaches. Jeez, I thought it was, um... I thought it was more water. Is there another cockroach's nest somewhere around here? How many of these friggin' things do I have to kill? Oh, it's over here. Oh, it's interesting. It's like a, it's like a multi-bathroom. Oh, that's neat. There's little stalls and everything. Not really, but you know, it's kind of like stalls. Hadn't recognized this room. Holy crap, there's a whole lot of stuff we're gonna, wow, this is actually a really big house. Like, for what they want us to do to it, it's pretty big. All right, there's still a bit more for us to do, but I want to see what that other house had. Uh, so we'll probably come back and finish up the kindergarten. The one area of the kindergarten was looking pretty damn good. Safe progress? Yes, please. I really don't want to have to do that all over again. Now, I think it was, um, it was called like unsuspecting house or unassuming house or something like that. Someone said that there was something in there or was that the one that we had already messed with? Let me go check. This one, unsatisfying effect. I feel like this is the one. All right, let's go over there. We've got tons of money on us. We got stacks on deck all over. So all you have to do is find the hidden room with the stuff. They get found the hidden room right in the back over here. All right, what sort of, what sort of odd glorious things are hiding behind this wall? Out of the way. Supposedly they improved the, uh, like the wall breaking physics or something like that. Oh God. Oh, oh, a safe. Hold on over here. Oh, we get, look at this. How much is this poster worth? This is a legendary house flipper poster for $2,800. And inside of the safe, is there anything in here? Oh. Oh, I thought, I thought maybe there'd be something special in here. Like an extra bunch of money or something. Now, the safe is also worth $2,800 or something. So, it does... I mean, it's still something. But is there is there more? Hold on. Let me just check something. I just kind of want to move stuff around. Make sure there's nothing even behind... What the hell? Is this a... Is this a piece of wall? That's just sitting there on the ground? Hold on. Get out of there. <laughs> it's like one sad little piece of... There we go. I'm going to kick that thing over. Get out of here. I don't have time for your wall crap. Yeah. That's it. Unless there's more. Maybe that's what it meant by unsatisfying effect. That's all that's in there. So it's not very satisfying. Oh, is there anything else in here? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, since Uncle's Bunker is going to be our official bunker that we're going to keep and we'll sell the other one, you let me know. Is there anything specific that Uncle's Bunker needs for us to live there? Let me know about that in the comment section below as well. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.